Hey guys, today in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 perfumes for the year 2020. This is a mix of my compliment theater perfumes or my favorite scents. Regardless if it's performing or not, these are my personal picks. Shout out to Sciences Fun for suggesting this video. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, I'm Greg and I do videos about men's fashion, men's grooming, and fragrance reviews. So if you think you're interested with those kind of videos, consider subscribing to my channel. Bago tayo magpunta sa top 10, I have two perfumes in here na ginawa ko as honorable mention. Zara 9.0 and Mont Blanc Individual. Ginawa ko sila as honorable mention kasi sobrang wala akong masabi. Gamit na gamit ko rin tong dalawang perfumes na to. Uh, it's just that may mga iba pang considerations kung bakit sila nakapasok. But again, they are worthy to be mentioned as honorable mention. <laughs> Zara 9.0 is a gentleman, very sophisticated kind of perfume na talagang I would say na staple in any man's fragrance collection. This is woody, powdery, and sweet. Ito yung tinatawag ko na amoy pogi kind of perfume. Right? So, that's 9.0 from Zara. And then, Mont Blanc Individual is a very nice, clean, a bit sweet, uh, fresh, although amoy synthetic, pero it does the job done, uh, especially in the office setting. It's long-lasting. If wala akong tinatry na new perfumes, uh, dito ako bumabagsak sa perfume na to. This is very needed for my perfume collection. That's why, yeah, inilagay ko siya to my honorable mention. So, start natin yung top 10. This is in no particular order. Lahat sila pantay-pantay in my eyes. May mga kanya-kanya silang mga strengths and weaknesses. So, so, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Starting off with uh, one of my most complimented fragrance, my most hype perfume in my collection. And uh, this is Zara Vibrant Leather. And sinama ko na siya in the same spot with Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is nasira na yung pagkakadikit niya. So, because they just smell the same. Parehas naman sila ng amoy. Generally, they smell the same. So, yun. I put them together. Kumbaga, it's a tie. <laughs> For some, hindi to long-lasting. But in my skin, it's a beast mode. But this performs better. Next is from Tom Ford. And this is fucking fabulous. So, I have this decant here. I love this perfume. Match din siya on my skin's chemistry. It lasts long on my skin. It performs, yes, pero hindi naman monstrous performance. Pero it is there. You will definitely be noticed by the people around you if you wear this. It's good for, you know, colder or controlled temperature. Smooth leather and vanilla. A bit of sweetness in it. So, sobrang, sobrang bango. I, I like this perfume. It's a bit dark, but at the same time, it's comforting. Next is from the House of Mice and Margiela. And uh, this is by the fireplace. This is also a 10 ml decant as you can see. Sobrang gamit na gamit ko siya at malamit na siya. <laughs> Lampas kalahati na siya. Because I just love this perfume. It's not projecting but it is long lasting on skin. On skin, 10 to 12 hours. Sa, sa damit, 4 to 8 hours. Nag-spray din kasi ako sa damit and isa sa mga used clothes ko. Eh, kinabukasan na amoy ko pa rin yung amoy nito. It's woody, it's warm, it's powdery so it's comforting so it's smooth so ang ganda this is just beautiful perfume that's why i put it in my top 10 list next is coach for men so kagaya ng vlog ko before this perfume has everything you need except for performance it has muskiness that's good for men okay it's it has enough appeal to be sexy it's fresh it's a bit sweet it's a bit citrusy so Everything is andito na sa perfume na to. Yun nga lang again, the performance. Sana, sana gumawa sila ng parang ADP version. I don't like the platinum. Masyado ng thick yung amoy nun. Sana ganito lang din siya. Just like YSLY and YSL ADP. Parang ganun. Sana kung may ganun, mas okay to. In terms of scent, this is probably my top 1 or 2 favorite scent sa lahat ng naamoy ko so far na perfume. Sobrang bango lang talaga niya. Yun lang talaga masabi mo in this perfume so yeah next is another decant that i bought this year uh, this is cedrat cedrat bose bose cedrat bose boys basta yun so this one titipid ko eh kasi um 
kahit konti lang gamitin ko dito siguro mga kahit mga 3 or 4 sprays sobrang lakas ito yung isa sa mga pinaka malakas in terms of siyage in terms of central na naiiwan na naamoy ng iba lakas ng projection kahit malayo ka ito yun and personally the scent sobrang isa rin sa mga pinaka favorite ko it's a bright juicy kind of parang lemon fruitiness citrusy backed up by woody notes naramdam mo yung roughness ng woody notes at the back may konting sour woody parang ganyan medyo maasim na woods pero sobrang mahina lang yun pero it's more of fruitiness and uh, woodiness and this perfume eh mahirap tibagin on my top 10 list for sure so so yeah that's Cedrat Pose next is perfume na meron na ako dati pero dahil parang nasawaan ako sa kanya uh, binenta ko siya and then few months after parang hinanap ko yung amoy na yun so, so nung bumili ako ng decans before sinama ko itong perfume na to another decan para lang at least meron akong alam yun kung gusto ko siyang gamitin meron ako and this is Dior Sauvage majority of you baka alam na to and still kapag ginagamit ko to compliments guaranteed ang lakas ng projection yung presence mo is talagang nandyan kapag ginamit mo siya and talagang hinahanap ko yung ambroxan power hinahanap yung freshness na meron siya so so that's why included pa rin siya in my top 10 list next is Prada Loam ito yung ginagamit ko kapag gusto kong ma-feel na parang medyo CEO feels parang ganyan usually ginagamit ko talaga sa office kapag medyo I need to power dress ganyan so if you smell this you know na talagang pang pang CEO siyang perfume alam mo yun so it smells like clean na bagong laba na tela medyo powdery alam mo yun comforting a bit citrusy so sobrang fresh and clean perfume lang nito this is one of those fresh clean perfumes na talagang long lasting and performing so although pricey siya pero you get your money's worth you don't have to spray a lot and you will smell good syempre dapat because it's Prada so yeah that's Prada alone Next is Lacoste Plunk. Ang bako lang talaga ng amoy niya. Performance, medyo mahina talaga. Pero yung smell, sobrang, sobrang bango talaga. Siguro talaga kailangan mo siyang i-reapply or damihin mo talaga yung application if you want to uh, be noticed or get noticed ng mga taong kasama mo. Pero definitely mo gusto nila. Sobrang clean, sobrang fresh, masculine type of floral. So, so medyo may pagka-unique siya in terms of creation. Pero it smells mas appealing, kaya papatok pa rin sa tao. Kaya gustong gusto ko lang yung smell nito kahit hindi siya ganun ka-performing. Pero again, yun nga. I love the smell, so that's why andito siya. Next is DNG Light Blue Intense. So meron akong light blue before. Binenta ko na siya kasi nga napagod ako dahil gusto kong maamoy. Gusto kong maamoy ng iba na yung gamit ko pa ba ko. Pero na-frustrate if hindi na naamoy, kagaya nung... Like for example, Coach or Lacoste Blanc. You love the scent pero hindi mo siya naamoy so naka-frustrate. So binenta ko yon and then this year, this uh, fourth quarter lang nakakuha ko ng intense version. And true to its uh, label, talagang intense siya. Ibig sabihin, mas nagpe-perform pang buong araw na perfume siya. It's projecting na wala sa dating DNG. So it's a good purchase for me. That's why andito siya sa top 10. So if you're planning to buy the original uh, version, might as well go for the intense. Parehas naman yung smell nila. Medyo mas up lang yung fruitiness in this, which made it uh, more performing. And last but not the least is Invictus. So ito, alam na rin yan. Isa sa mga pinaka kinopyang perfume. Maraming gumaya sa perfume na to. It's uh, fruity, it's citrusy, it's fresh, it's musky. Ito yung perfume na talagang lahat din, kagaya ng uh, coach, itong dalawa, sobrang mas appealing nilang dalawa. Lahat mo gustuhan. Maraming kaamoy nito, pero what makes this perfume stand out is because it's fresh, it's fruity, pero it's long-lasting. Versatile din siya, pwede kong gamitin sa kahit saan, sa kahit saan ako magpunta o kung anong okasyon. Dito sa Pilipinas, sobrang perfect. For me, I would say na talagang kailangan mo siya. Consider Invictus sa mga bibili mong perfume dahil talaga mga gamit mo anywhere at anytime. Those are my top 10 perfumes for the year 2020. Gusto ko namang malaman kung ano naman yung para sa inyo ang mga top perfumes ninyo. Top 1, top 2, top 3. I don't care. Ilagay nyo sa comment section and uh, pag-usapan natin yan. I wanna know 
also we are on our way to our first 10,000 subscribers so thank you so much again for all the likes and the comments and your support uh, to this channel that means a lot to me and I'm excited for the next year as we go for our next milestone also follow me on Instagram para we are more connected happy holidays and happy new year and thank you for watching this video and as always I will see you in my next video till next time